Pangolins are shy, secretive animals. They have a coat of thick, overlapping scales, much like an armadillo, to protect themselves against predators. But demand for those scales is driving an illegal market, which is threatening their very existence. If you can just grip the scale between your thumb and forefinger. But now researchers in England have perfected a method of recovering the fingerprints of pangolin poachers from the animal's scales. When we first brought it up, we brought the scales back. I loaded one up, put it into the gel scan, and when it came up, I just went, wow. Yeah, we've got a fingerprint off that, and uh, we were thrilled. The forensic team used the international standard for recovering crime scene evidence, gel pads, which are pressed onto scales and then scanned to reveal rich details of the person who had held them. The easy-to-use, low-tech process makes it easier to prosecute. It might not be as perfect as it is in a laboratory um, or in a controlled crime scene, but you can still gather evidence and there's still methods and materials that you can use that will quickly get that evidence, get it to a safe environment and do the analysis there. Project collaborators included the Zoological Society of London and the UK Border Force, who were able to supply pangolin scales banned under the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, CITES. The impact on the illegal trade in pangolins would be massive. What it does is it gives us the ability to tie organized criminals to the pangolin scales so that not only are we finding the pangolin scales, but we are able to investigate those that are trafficking. Without a remedy, pangolins will become extinct. There are places where we've seen pangolins being wiped out already, and that's just going to continue to happen. So we, we need to find ways to tackle the trade, tackle the demand, um, stop the poaching in order to ensure this species can survive in the wild. Christy Henderson is Senior Campaign Coordinator at PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. So not only are we killing them and using their body parts for little more than you know, misguided tradition or pseudoscience, but these animals are endangered and we should be and need to be doing a lot more to protect them. Wildlife and plant trafficking is the world's fourth biggest crime category behind human trafficking, drugs, and firearms, with an estimated value of between 17 to $23 billion annually. Julie Tabo, VOA News.